It will be up to a grand jury to decide if an apartment tenant who shot and killed a maintenance worker Christmas Eve will face any charges. The victim was checking on frozen pipes when he was shot. Fox Wars Macy Jenkins spoke to his family who spent Christmas mourning the loss rather than celebrating what should have been a 29th anniversary. Macy. Hi, Heather. Well, his family tells me that Cesar Montalongo was on call this past weekend. I spoke to his son, who says that on Saturday morning he had gotten a heartwarming text from his father about his mother. He was shocked to learn just a few hours later that his father had been killed. The morning of the 24th, my father and my mother went on a breakfast date because they, they were celebrating early. On Christmas Eve, Caesar and Candelaria Montalongo were just a day shy of marking 29 years of marriage. However, my dad didn't make it to the anniversary. Instead, the 53-year-old father of five was shot and killed at the Clayton Point apartment complex. His oldest son, Cesar Montalongo Jr., spoke to Fox 4 on the phone and says his father worked at the complex as the head of maintenance. Saturday, he was on call and stopped by the complex sometime before 6 p.m. to check for frozen pipes. Next thing we know, my dad is being rushed to the hospital and when we get told that he was shot, just while he was working. Grand Prairie Police say Montalongo Sr. was in the process of checking water lines on balconies after several pipes had ruptured. But investigators say an armed tenant who has not been identified by police believed Montalongo was breaking into his apartment and shot the maintenance worker through a window. And he was working on things outside. He was never trying to break into anything. My dad worked there for 16 years. He had no need to steal anybody's stuff. While Montalongo Jr. calls it a horrible accident, he still has many unanswered questions. I'm not 100% sure if um, whoever did it is or was a resident of that complex, and if so, for how long, and if they weren't, were they just visiting or were they staying with whoever it was for the holidays? Police say the tenant remained at the scene and cooperated with investigators. Tarrant County Medical Examiner ruled Montalongo's death as a homicide, and police say the case will go to a grand jury. It'll be up to the grand jury to decide if this tenant will face any charges. He was just a light. He was always humble. He never bragged about anything. Me being the oldest, I'm doing everything that I can to stay strong and be the strongest one for all of us. The family now leaning on faith as they try to figure out how to move forward. We do forgive the person for what they did, and we pray that the Lord forgives the person for what they did. However, justice is justice and fair is fair. And whatever that looks like is going to be up to the Lord and the grand jury. Now, Grand Prairie Police Department declined to speak on camera about the case today. We did reach out to the apartment complex, but as of tonight, we have not heard back. I'll send it back to you, Heather. All right. We'll see what happens. Macy, thank you.